I've said this before, but uh, he just wears cleats everywhere he goes. I think that's cleats and khakis. I think that's one thing that, about him. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but uh, I saw him on the treadmill with khakis on. He has a Lululemon ones now, though, and I know those are a little more comfortable, but I couldn't imagine wearing cleats all day, even though I do wear cleats and all that, and then especially khakis. That's something I can't picture uh, wearing all day. A big one-handed catch that game, and then it was uh, right after I got my uh, citizenship, so um, I got the game ball after that also, so I, I, I would say that's one special game for me. Yeah, it was, it was real cool. It's something I've, I was trying to get since high school, and then um, uh, started again when I got to Ann Arbor, and then um, got it, that, I think, that Thursday before the game, or Tuesday or Thursday before the game. Yeah, their dedication, their dedication, I would say. Um, I think fans start tailgating if we have an early game. They start tailgating like at 6 a.m. I don't know how they do it. And then um, we ride the bus from um, our facility to the stadium. So when we're riding around, we see a bunch of fans lined up across the street just cheering us on. Um, some in their cars blowing the horn and everything. So I'd say the tradition, um, the fans love the players. Um, they love the program. And uh, whether it's cold, hot, it's raining, they're always going to show up. Man, I would say the first game going out there, um, running out the tunnel and then seeing all the fans in the big house. Um, when you're on your visits, you, uh, you walk down there and you see it. Um, and it's big, but it's empty. But uh, it's a little different game day with a bunch of uh, fans there and everything. Yeah, this is a big deal now. And then uh, I'm here and then it's uh, time to work. It was good. I mean, I think he, uh, he brought the most out of all our players um, on the team. I think he's a guy that's uh, has a football background with his father and brother and all that. So um, with him being our coach, he, uh, he brought in the competitive nature. Um, he made sure we were competitive in everything we did. And then uh, winning, man, just winning, competing. I think uh, they have the history already there. And then um, not being, being mediocre doesn't pass by there. College rivalry is something else. I mean, I remember having a couple of rivalries in, uh, in, uh, back in Iowa. Um, weren't the same with uh, when I got to college. It means everything. Usually, uh, like this season, whatever team wins, um, kind of you get to go on and then um, uh, continue playing this year with the playoffs and all that. And then, uh, um, also the talent level is up there. Um, you're playing the best of the best, and then they always have top players. And then um, I think if you, uh, it's usually if you can perform in that game, that means you can perform um, against any team. Definitely, it's intense. Um, the coaches are very, uh, uh, they pay attention to detail a lot. I think the players are more focused and everything, so it means a lot to all of us. The bragging rights, just like the players, get that bragging right and bragging rights, and then uh, I know fans like to chirp at each other and everything. It's just like the players do on the field, so I think bragging rights and all that.